Keith Van Horn was a power forward, small forward. He was one of those players that he was no scrub. He was good. And you can't help to think, had it not been for the injuries, had it not been for the inconsistency during postseason time, where will his career would have gone? But he play in the NBA for as long as he can. And sometimes I feel that we've forgotten about the kind of player he was. So have we forgotten about Keith Van Horn? Keith Van Hoard played in University of Utah for four years. He was the man in that university. He finished as the all-time leading scorer in the history of the Western Atlantic Conference. He was named consensus first-team All-American in 1997. Going into the draft, he was drafted as the second overall pick in the first round. He was drafted behind Tim Duncan. He got drafted by the Philadelphia 76ers, but then he got traded to New Jersey. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. Supposedly, he did not want to play in Philadelphia. So, I don't know. Those are things that were thrown out there. I don't know if there's some truth to that. But he got traded to New Jersey. Um, and he made an impact right away. In his rookie season, he averaged 19.7 points per game. He finished second for Rookie of the Year honors. He finished, um, I believe it was Tim Duncan won Rookie of the Year that year. So it's funny, he came in second, not only in the draft, but also in Rookie of the Year as well. But the Nets, they made the playoffs that year under head coach John Calipari. They got swept by Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. But um, I'm pretty sure that Keith Van Horn and the Nets organization, they feel good about what's about to come. But um, they went through a few years struggling um, because on paper, they had a good roster with Van Horn, Kerry Kittles, Jason Williams. The list goes on. During his second year, um, his, a his average went up. He averaged 21 points per game. The Nets missed the playoffs. But then they traded for Stephon Marbury. Now, it's all about, you know, how was it going to work between them? When Marbury got there, um, Keith's scoring dropped, but he was still able to contribute. The thing is that the Nets on paper, they had a good roster, but it just, I guess the chemistry wasn't working. So when I started watching basketball, I started watching basketball in the 1999-2000 season. And to be quite honest with you, um, the Nets, they only won 31 games that season. But I enjoyed watching them because of Stephon Marbury and Keith Van Horn. I've always liked Keith Van Horn as a player. Um, I felt that he was an asset for any team that that are looking for someone to go get a basket, um, whether it's on the post or from the perimeter. Keith Van Horn, um, he was one of those guys that was very good in the regular season, but inconsistent in the playoffs. After the Nets made the postseason in 98, they didn't make it to the postseason until 2002. That was the year that Jason Kidd got traded for Stephon Marbury. Marbury went to Phoenix, Jason Kidd to the Nets. The Nets finished number one that year in the Eastern Conference. The Nets, they beat the Pacers in the first round, then swept the Charlotte Hornets, and then they went and played against the Boston Celtics. It was in that series against the Celtics that I feel that Keith Van Horn, he had some solid performances, like in Game 4 and also Game 6. Game 6 is the one that I will remember the most because it was against the Boston Celtics on the road, and he hit a three-point shot that it was the dagger that put the nail in the coffin. And it sent the Nets to the NBA Finals. 
The Nets, they got swept by the Lakers in four games. But um, it was a successful season. Keith Van Horn averaged 13 points per game throughout the 2002 playoffs. After that season, he got traded to the Philadelphia 76ers, which is funny. That was a team that he got drafted originally, and now here he was playing for them, and he's playing side-by-side -side with a bad boy of Allen Iverson, who was the man at the time. The Sixers, they made the postseason that year. They won the first round, but then they lost in the second round to Detroit. But every team, listen to this, every team that Keith Van Horn played for, the Nets, Sixers, Bucks, Knicks, and Mavericks, he put up solid to average numbers in the regular season. Had it not been for the injuries, had it not been for the lack of consistency in the postseason, he probably would have had a better career. But I felt that he was more decimated by the injuries. And to a certain degree, you can argue that not playing in the right system. But I always wish that he could have been healthy and productive more when he was with Dallas because he not only he reached the finals with the Nets in 2002, but he reached the finals in 2006 with the Mavericks, but he didn't receive um, enough playing time. And in game six, which is the closing game, the elimination game, I think he had a DNP for that game. For those of you who don't know what DNP is, that means did not play. Um, coach's decision. But, um, but yeah, but overall, Keith Van Horn, he was a good role player. I liked him, um, especially during his time with the Nets. Um, and before he got to the NBA or when he got drafted, um, there were some things that being said that supposedly they were labeling him as the next, um, White Hope or the next Larry Bird, not because of, not so much because of skill set. I feel that in my opinion, it was more because of their body physique were almost the same, but he was a good role player. Um, during the era that he played, I just wish he would have stayed healthy more often. But uh, yeah, I wanted to make this content about Keith Van Horn because it's been a long time I haven't thought about him. It's been a long time I haven't um, just watched any highlights from him. So, but yeah, he was a good role player. I was I, I liked him. He was a a good role player, and um, and I'm just glad that I got to see. Um, when he was at his peak, um, before the injury, before the nagging injury started kicking in, so, and being a Knicks fan, um, I never hated the Nets. Um, when I started watching basketball, I was rooting for both the Nets and Knicks. So, the fact that I got to see him play for both organizations um, was great. So, yeah, that does it for this video. For have we forgotten about Keith Van Horn? Please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, be safe and may God bless you all.